Hey everybody, what's up? It's Bacon Burger King, and I welcome you back to some more Sonic Adventure 2. In the last part, we completed the Dark Side story. Not the West Side story. The Dark Side story. And in this part, we're taking on the true ending of the game. The last story. So, we're just gonna dive in. We've got a cutscene here, and uh, I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy that. What's that? That vibration? Wait, someone is coming. You... You haven't given up yet? It's all over for us. What do you I mean? I just received a message from my boss. The Space Colony Ark is currently approaching the Earth at an incredible velocity. It probably will impact Earth. What's that on the screen? This is a death sentence for every human being on Earth. If my calculations are correct, the Space Colony Arc will impact the Earth in 27 minutes and 53 seconds. All of you will be destroyed along with your beloved planet Earth. Getting worse. Professor Gerald Robotnik, one of the greatest scientific minds in the world, and my grandfather. What? I knew you were behind all this. Stop it right now, or else. I'd have done this a long time ago if I had the chance. What do you mean? You're pretty persistent for a hedgehog, aren't you? You're still alive. <laughs> Just huh? letting Knuckles pilot the shuttle on the way over here was more dangerous than you could ever be. What is this? This is my grandfather's diary. I don't quite know what happened or what went wrong. Was it a mistake to create the ultimate life form? I thought it would be something that would benefit mankind, but then the military guards landed on the colony that day. They were sent to destroy the research project that I had been working on. My colleagues at the research facility, my granddaughter, Maria, I hope you are all safe. The, the colony, colony was completely was shut down, down probably, probably to keep the prototype, the prototype from falling prototype into the wrong from hands. Into the wrong hands. The art was shut down under the premise that there had been an accident. I found Maria's name among those who died when the art was shut down. She meant everything to me, and I couldn't bear the thought that she died because of my research. I lost everything. I had nothing more to live for. I went insane. All I could think about was to avenge her. Somehow, some way, I got scared and I no longer was able to control my thoughts. All I could think about was what I wanted in all of them. Based on my original projections, I was able to complete my project, Shadow. I designed its mind to be perfect, pure. And the way. 
awaken it. If to you the wish world. to fill the world with destruction. Oh, so that's why you released Shadow from the base. Of course, the Eclipse Cannon is now highly reactive and explosive. This is because the Eclipse Chaos Emerald is overpowered. If the colony collides with Earth, it will shatter into pieces like my grandfather for you. That mad scientist. That should be you, right? We have to stop the space colony now. The space colony acquisition may have shifted due to the amount of energy given off by the emeralds. We have to stop the energy. But how? Hmm. That's it. There is a way to stop the energy. We have to use your emerald. You're the one that told me that the Master Emerald has the power to stop the Chaos Emerald. That's right. If I use this, I just might be able to stop the Chaos Emerald. The reaction of the Chaos Emerald is moving toward the cannon's core. It may be too late. There still may be some time left. If we pull together, we might be able to get to the shortcut that leads to the core. And now it's time to see the real superpower of teamwork. This is the Cannon's Core, where we are going to take control of every single playable character in the game. Except for Shadow, because he double-crossed everyone, pretty much. So, we're starting off with Tails here, and sucking, obviously. I had, I did, I refused to practice this level, because I wanted this to be a genuine suck-fest. Take that as you will. But... Yeah, this is going to be really funny because I haven't played this level probably since the first time I played through the game. So yeah, this should be interesting. Now we get one of these on-rail things right here. Where we're just going to shoot everything. So yeah, we're going to take control of every single character in the game. I really like the concept, why am I still stuck in this? Oh god. And I'm already going to say this now, This the game's not going to be over in this part. The main story is not going to be over by the time this part is over. But, it'll be over by the, next, the end of the next part, most likely, depending on how bad I'm doing. Because if I'm actually doing somewhat okay with this... Oh, uh, which I won't be because I went the wrong way. Oh, wait, hold on. Can I lock on to those? Yeah, there we go. Anyways. Yeah, so this game is almost over for real this time. I'm just going to come out and say that right now. This game is actually almost over soon. I mean, I was lying before because for people who are watching this who have never seen, who have never actually played Sonic Adventure 2, unfortunately for them, I didn't want to spoil that there was more, so... I just left that I just left that open and never really came out and said, "Oh yeah, this isn't the end." I kind of lied, but I did it for a reason. And I feel that that reason it has been justified more than enough at this point. Anyways, One interesting thing to note is that when you stop time with those things, you actually stop the timer, which can be a very good thing. Also, Tails' segment is done, and now it's Dr. Eggman's turn. So, more or less, same mission, only with different differences, I guess. I don't know. Oh, well, um, okay, hello there. So, uh, yesterday, I was going to record, but I went to a concert yesterday, and let me tell you, that was a very fun concert. I, uh, saw Dennis DeYoung from Styx, well, the old singer of Styx, with his band of misfits, as me and my friend were calling them. 
but he was there with his band, and they were really good. But the opening band, surprisingly enough, the opening band is what really caught my attention. It was Night Ranger. And I'll say this right now, I only knew one Night Ranger song going into the show, but I still loved it. It was so... Can I just kill this guy, please? The Night Ranger concert was so good. They were moving around, they were jumping about. They were all getting so into it, and in turn, I was really getting into it, too. It was definitely a great show. I'm very happy that I went to see it. Also, this room sucks, like, a lot. I'm going to try and do this here. Did I? I'm really hoping that I don't screw this up because I don't remember the last time I hit a checkpoint. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get on that. So pretty much what you're going to want to do is... Oh. I always hit my wire and then it screws up my headset. But what you're going to want to do here is stop time at the right times so that you can maneuver around on these blocks correctly. And I'll be honest, I don't remember how to do it. Speaking of which... Oh, oh! Oh. Oh. Well, I'm not going to complain about this, but normally if you touch any of this green stuff, you're immediately dead. So, oh, come on. If I can get on this block without dying, that'd be very, very good, obviously. I mean, death is always a bad thing. Well, almost always a bad thing. There we go. Nice. I'm surprised I was able to do that on my first shot. I was definitely expecting to die there. Gotta be 100% honest. I was not expecting to make it through that one. Checkpoint. Ah, I can never get that part right. Alright, whatever. We gotta go fall through lasers, James Bond style. I don't know if James Bond has ever done that. I haven't actually seen a James Bond movie. Yes, I know, sue me. And there we go. I'm not sure how much left we have of the Eggman segment, actually. I don't think we have much left of this. My power going down. Uh, here we go. This is... Alright. So, this Dr. Eggman segment is almost done. Oh, no! No! Aww. That was not nice. Can I make that? Aww. Oh. I bet... Oh, that's where the chow key is. Alright. As I've said a million other times, I'll say it again. I'm not showing off Chow Garden until the extras video. Or the bonus video is not the extras video. Alright. I'm gonna have to focus here because I don't want to have to get a game over here. Because if you get a game over, you gotta start the entire level over with the tails all the way through. And I don't want to do that. I want to finish the level and then be done with it. Now I have to deal with more of the level. I, do redoing parts of the level. That's not what I want to happen here. Uh, how am I going to get up there? Exactly. I wait for this thing to go by. Here, I'll freeze time here. See if there's anything I can do. Nah, not much. Alright, I think I have an idea of what I'm going to want to do here. Freeze that. Fly. There we go. Alright, moving on to what I believe to be Knuckles' part. Could be wrong. Oh no, it's Rouge. Alright. So, we've got to fly around and find that emergency switch. Um... God, I don't... I haven't played this level in the longest time. I don't remember where to go. I definitely can climb on these, so... Let's find that emergency switch. Wherever that might be. Let's 
fly back and forth between the pillars and please don't fall that would that would make me really sad oh there's the switch is that really all Rouge has to do oh no I have to go through somewhere I don't remember exactly where it is though oh yeah I gotta go through this because going through otherwise would push you away all right what do I do here exactly all right I see what I've got to do so pretty much here you gotta stop the switch at a perfect time you gotta do it right when it's slightly out because they respawn very quickly so now uh, I missed uh, now can I get through nah I did it a little bit too early so oh also we can't dig as Rude just notified us I'm trying to get it right as it stops like right as it starts moving again but I keep getting it slightly before can I get through there oh well Rude is refusing to cooperate here alright also if you try to go through without stopping it just you, you don't want to even try All right, can't go through there. Uh, let's try now. Uh, I missed again. I still can't get in. Oh god, I almost fell there. Please tell me I can get in. There we go. Uh, oh, I think I. Oh, I guess not. Don't quite remember what I've got to do here. Uh, there's the Chow Key. Okay. Anything in here? Well, that's helpful, I guess. Oh, how did I completely miss that switch? Oh my god. Oh, am I supposed to do that? Alright, uh, it looks like we're going back out. I don't remember that part either. Oh, that's why the spring is here. No, 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 no. Not dying. Oh. Alright, so what I'm gonna do here is... Wait. And kill him so that I don't have to deal with his... Ludic ludicrous. I was about to say ludicriosity, which is a combination of the word ludicrous, idiot, idiot, and odyssey. I guess I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. All I know is that it's almost time for Knuckles to take control. Also, why is there why is there sand in the in the arc? That makes no sense. But whatever. And now it's Knuckles' turn. So what you're going to want to do here is... Oh, nice. Extra life. Uh, you're going to want to swim around. I mean, you you can do this part without, getting, without having the air bracelet. But it is strongly, strongly recommended that you have the air bracelet. I mean, they have these bubbles here. But... I recommend that you have the air bracelet for this so that you don't have to worry about collecting the bubbles. Oh, I do not want to go up there. Uh, that's not the right place. Right, I'm going to want to swim. Can I make it? Yeah! Uh, we have to find another switch in here, don't we? Alright. Uh, I apologize for being really silent, but I'm just trying to get this part right, because I'll be 100% honest, I really don't remember what to do here. Just collect this thing, why not? I'll freeze time, probably not even supposed to be over here.
let me do one quick scan of the room once more. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Alright, clearly not supposed to go in there. I probably missed something, but... Whatever, I'm gonna look around a bit more. I am definitely missing something here. I have no clue what to do. This isn't good. How long have I even been? Oh, 20 minutes, damn. Where do I go? Exactly. I was just in here. Alright. You can't even go up there. So that's definitely not what you're supposed to do. Oh my god, where do I go? Alright. I bet there's something I've missed in here. I bet, bet, bet that there is something that I missed in here. Oh my god. Probably should have practiced this, but you... I wanted to give you guys the live reaction of what happens here. Oh my god. Where do I go? I literally have no idea where the hell I'm supposed to be going. Might as well get one ring just in case. Did I miss something up here? Am I supposed to hit this switch? Let's see what that has to do with anything. What even is there to do up here? Was I supposed to be over here the entire time? Please tell me no. Oh my god. Alright, Omo Chow, give me advice. No! Go die. I'm drowning you. How's he not... Drowning? Would somebody like to explain that to me? I mean, he's a robot. He should be dying right now. Whatever, I'll just throw him. Go die, Omo Chow. You're never a help to anyone. Go die. Nobody likes you. Alright. Look around. There's got to be something that I'm missing here. There's just got to be something. Maybe I have to flip this switch here. This definitely has to do with something. I mean, they wouldn't just put a random switch here if they didn't need you to do it. Can I, like, maybe go through here? No, clearly not. Uh, I literally don't see anywhere else for me to go. There isn't anywhere else for me to go. There's, there's got to be something in here. I really... Oh, my God. All right. Knuckles, what the hell are you doing? Why are you controlling yourself? I don't even know what I could even be missing here. What is there to be missing? There is literally no switch anywhere. I mean, there's that one, but that's not the one I need to hit. Where do I go? Clearly not down here.
God. No, screw it. I'm cutting until I figure this out. Long story short, I looked at um, the great Clements video on how to do this. And I'm going to give you guys the best tip ever. Get hit. Why won't they let me go through? How come it works for him? He he was just able to take the hit and rock right he was able to walk right through. The hell. Right now I need a coin. Ring, whatever. Maybe you have to get shot and then walk through. What the hell? How was he able to do that? What? How was he able to just take the hit there and then walk right through? Why isn't it working for me? Oh, and now it works. Because I died. I'm not giving up. Finally! Yes! That was really weird. And I have no, why, no clue why it wasn't letting me go through. But whatever. I made it through. And that's all that matters. I hit the switch. I don't rem Oh yeah. I turned off the thingy. So I'm going down. And going through here. And I'm going to like it. Because I'm finally done with this stupid segment. Even he didn't find the switch that's apparently somewhere in this level apparently because I sure as hell couldn't find it <sighs> whatever Go. No, Knuckles, don't run on the wall. Come on, Knuckles, you can do it. No! Ugh. Knuckles part of this level really sucks. Come on. Whew. I can't believe I actually made it through it. No. Any form of protection is accepted at this point. Oh god. I, I'm gonna get really up close and personal. There we go. Because I refuse to go on without a ring here. I what? I went through the box. Whatever. I'm just happy to not be stuck on that part that I was stuck on before, still. Perfect. We only have one segment of the level left, by the way. Which is probably going to be the best segment. Because this part was absolute garbage. And that final segment is quite clearly... Sonic. And as Eggman just said, we are the last chance. Sonic is the only one who can who can save the world, as usual, but... 
we gotta kill this guy. I did it with the bounce bracelet because I like using the bounce bracelet. It's fun. Oh. Except when you kill yourself by doing it. Oh my god, I only have two lives left. Oh. Alright, get through there. Alright, let's kill him. And then go back. And unfortunately get hit. But whatever. I don't even care if I take the most hits in the world right now. I just want to make it through this without getting a game over here. Oh, God, no. I gotta go find a ring. I refuse to go on until I get my rings. There we go. No! Oh, my God. I only have one life left. All right. Absolute concentration. Alright. Okay. No! No!